Hey YouTube, Silence Death here with Airsoft Team OSMD, and today I thought I'd do an update video on my M16. Uh, I'm not even sure how long it's been since I've done a video, probably a couple months. Um, I have a stockpile of videos that I'm just waiting to upload, I just haven't gotten around to it, mainly because my internet uh, data is now capped, and that means I can't upload like an infinite number of, of videos anymore. So. Whenever I get a chance to upload, I will, but um, that's what this video is, is kind of just that one video I'll upload, maybe once a month or so. Maybe I'll get more in than that, but it's going to be not that many videos. Um, we'll see. Anyway, so I've done quite a lot to my M16, um, just can't even get it all in frame. but. The main differences than when you last seen it is it's no longer a HPA gun anymore. It's no longer using the Vulcan V12 engine. It is using uh, a Sistema gearbox. And if you want specs on what's inside the gearbox, uh, check the description and they'll have a complete parts list of everything. The main differences though, uh, besides going back to an AEG uh, with high speed gears, is I'm using a Mad Bull uh, version 2 Black Python 363 with the Lonex hop up chamber and Lonex bucking, and uh, it's R hopped. And the, the Mad Bull uh, 363 has been the crown has been extended, and there's a lot of debate, I guess, to as whether or not uh, an extended crown on the barrel improves accuracy and I'm in the the boat of people that say that it does because the barrel I'm using right now used to be horrible when R hopped but with an extended crown two inches into the barrel uh, and then polished this thing is the best barrel I've ever used it outshoots and it's only 363 it outshoots my ZCI 455 steel barrel um, that has a number of mods done to it um, so besides the barrel, um, I got a shorter outer barrel, that's a Golden Eagle uh, 10 inch, which isn't actually 10 inches, it's actually more than 10 inches. I wanted it to be completely flush with the rail system, but it, it extends farther, because apparently their 10 inches is more like 12 inches. But anyway, then I got a key mod rail that is completely flush with the upper receiver, which is pretty nice. That one was only 26 bucks off clandestineairsoft.com. Uh, I got a Vietnam style high cap mag. I think it looks better than the. It's just for pictures and stuff. And if I want to go prone, it is pretty advantageous to have. Another big thing I changed was my scope. That's a 2 to 6 by uh, 32 scope with illumination and adjustable objective with a sunshade and the reason why I did it was and I got extra high rings as you can see it cuts the weight down tremendously um, and normally when I run this camera that I'm using it's it's way too heavy it feels like I'm running a squat automatic I'm like holding it shouldering it it's just so heavy so cutting down on the scope and rings not needing a riser cutting down on the front end weight by shortening it and all these things um, not only is the gun more accurate and more solid, but it's so much lighter and it makes it so much more enjoyable to use. So, to try and keep this video from being way too long, we'll get to the main point. Um, about 73 yards out is a man-sized target, believe it or not. Exactly man-sized. Hang on, my camera's pretty loose. I don't know why that's so loose. It's all sloppy. Hmm. Shouldn't be like that. Oh well. Just roll with it. So, I'll be shooting at that with .28s. Which, and I'm from a sitting position. Which, standing is so much easier to shoot that range than this sitting. So... G and G point two eights. Not much wind. Four times magnification. 
with the adjustable objective set to 70 yards. Let's see how this puppy does. Several hits. Hits. Multiple hits. Now, I learned that using semi automatic at those ranges is not combat effective. I started using full auto a lot more, and I'll explain why. Once I shoot this next burst, One hit. I think that was about six hits. Multiple hits. Multiple hits. Multiple hits. Many hits. Multiple hits. Multiple hits. Multiple hits. Yeah, I pulled it. And I'm out. Multiple hits. So, most of those hits were right in the torso where I wanted them. I'd argue that I could shoot a headshot target at that distance uh, on full auto probably pretty easily which is very impressive um, my other that's on full auto so it's tough to keep your groupings tight while you're firing full auto like that but every burst I can just light somebody up uh, and point two eights are not the the optimal round to be shooting at that range you should be shooting some heavier but my effective range to man size target is probably 80, 80 plus yards. Um, now, do I shoot that far? Typically not. Um, just because I like to be able to shoot like you just saw, full auto burst and light them up. So, hopefully you'll see more gameplay. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do because I, I am going to be making an effort to get more gameplay footage up. Because um, I don't think much is going to be changing in this gun for a while um, and yeah check the description for a parts list and like the video if you liked it see you guys